Hey, how's it going guys? So, welcome back to this week's video. As I mentioned in my previous video, I actually care about competing a little bit more than I thought. You know, I've always told people that I don't really care to compete, but then obviously after getting slammed in the Washington State Open, I had some sort of, I wasn't, I wouldn't necessarily say ner nerves. I wouldn't say I was nervous, but there's definitely some sort of stress that was put on me, uh, some sort of mental stress. And like my own thought was like, okay, if I only compete once a year, why am I, why am I so stressed about it? But I think I, I actually thought about it a little more. And I think that's exactly why it's because I only compete once a year. So I feel like I have to perform well for myself or for the people who came out to watch and, and really just be able to put on a show. So here I am starting to, starting to practice more. Um, we're out here with Dennis again. Okay, well, there you go. Hi, Dennis again. Um, and this week is our uh, 5-0 PNW sectionals. So we're going down to Portland to compete this weekend. And basically, we just wanted to get another practice in just to feel a little sharper than we were for Washington State Open. But there's still a theme to this video. We're here to talk about these. And eh, these. So, quick little update about the on uh, Roger Pros, okay? To be quite honest, I have not been having a good time in these shoes. They have been hurting my feet like crazy. Now, I would like to say that I think this is more of a me problem. I don't think this is necessarily for the general public. The main reason why I say that is because, so right here when you're pushing into the shoe, you can obviously see that this material folds in right here. That material has been rubbing up against the side of my foot and giving me a blister on my pinky toe. Obviously, I think that has to deal with the shape of my foot because I don't have it happening on my left foot, but it's definitely something that I've never had to consider with previous shoes or any shoe before. I feel like the shoe itself is supposed to be light, but for some reason, whenever I'm planting my feet, it just doesn't feel like I'm able to push off the ground as strong as I would like. However, this shoe, uh, these are the on clubhouses and 
I have been enjoying these. These are amazing. Now I know they look more of like a lifestyle shoe. They definitely don't look like tennis shoes, but I don't have an issue with the side of it uh, irritating my foot. Overall, I feel like the durability and comfort of the shoe is great. And on top of that, there's still some cool designs that I mentioned before. Like they still have the on logo here. And this does come in multiple colorways. I think I just picked this one because I already have white shoes from on. Now I do have one complaint and this is something I noticed from the second I put on the shoe. Both these shoes I ordered as seven and a half but for some reason the shoes are different sizes. I don't know if you can tell but the on Roger Pros are slightly longer. That was the only thing. It was slightly smaller. I don't know if it has to do with the fabric but that would be my only complaint. Once again I definitely think this is more of a me problem but at the end of the day I'm saving myself a couple of bucks. I think these are about I think it's like 20 or 40 dollars cheaper. For me they just work a lot better but yeah so gonna get a good practice in. Gonna showcase the shoes and yeah and we'll go from there. All right, this is late, my recording stopped, so. It's 2-1 now, we started a set. <laughs> Damn, we had so many good points. Dennis is playing really deep. He's actually worked on a lot of things since the last time we played, so he's a lot more balanced, he's a lot steadier. Uh, so now when he hits through the ball, he has a lot more leg drive, he has a lot more core involved instead of him arming it. Before I realized I either wasn't recording or the recording cut. I mentioned that I'm just trying to find my way to net and be as aggressive as possible off of returns and trying to step into the ball as normal against Dennis. I just want to feel sharper today than I did the past week so that when we go to sectionals this week, I'm I'm ready to play, whether it's singles or doubles. So I guess we're starting from 2-1. Uh, hopefully we can maintain the level and it doesn't just drop off, but 2-1 me serving, up a break.
YouTube. So far, I feel pretty good. In my mind, I guess like one of the things that's going on in my mind is like I am trying to be more aggressive. I feel like I'm hitting heavy enough of a ball where I should be get getting Dennis on his back foot more, but he keeps getting set. So in my mind, either I'm not hitting big enough or it might not be heavy enough or I'm not hitting, I'm not placing it well enough. And in my mind, it just needs to be a little bit better. So uh, we're gonna just fine tune some things. It's 5-2, so I have, some, I have a little bit of wiggle room to kind of mess around. So I'm gonna play a little bit bigger and see what happens. Hopefully still keep, maintain my rhythm. Just kind of like change the pace of the ball a little bit. So hopefully the errors don't pick up. <laughs> it out here we get second serves really good return plus ones first serve just neutralized I'm like, I would never carry a green Charizard. That'd be wild, actually. Is, imagine one day just someone steals... Okay, anyway, hold on, let me do this outro. So, just finished up our practice. I feel like... I feel like I got the worst practice today, <laughs> actually. I got a good uh, practice. Yeah, I feel, like dead, I feel like I came out of that with the short and the stick. But I lost. But I lost the, I lost the breaker at the end. That's the issue. <laughs> so I think overall for the majority of the practice, I think it was pretty productive. Still getting back into like the singles mindset. It's gonna be a while, um, but overall had fun getting out here with Dennis again. Yeah, he's definitely uh, made some adjustments since the last time we played. So if you guys wanna see, you can check out one of my last videos with Vayam and Dennis in it. Final announcement for today's video is I'm doing a giveaway with two sets of strings, one of the Restring Zero and Restring Sync. For those who don't know, I'm affiliated with Restring. They're a new string company based out of Washington, DC, and they're pretty much changing the co-poly world. So if you're tired of seeing Hyper-G, RPM, Luxalon, what else is there? Yonix, Technifiber Black Code. This is definitely something for you to try out. So all you have to do for an entry for the giveaway is hit that subscribe button, comment down below what your favorite tournament is throughout the year. Uh, can be juniors, can be professional, can be futures, doesn't matter. You get one entry and I will select the winner at the end of the week. Otherwise, if you are looking to get yourself a set, a reel, or a custom box, uh, you can go ahead and use my discount code KHTV10 and you'll get 10% off of your order. With that guys, say goodbye to Dennis. Thanks for grinding. Thanks for kicking my butt. See you guys in the next video. Peace.